All right, you guys. So as you might have guessed, based on my fancy attire, today we're going to be doing something kind of special. Example and I were recently invited to attend an Easter service on the DadCraft server. And this is a pretty exclusive event, so I'm pretty honored to be included in it. But uh, obviously this is going to be a church service, which means that this is going to contain some religious content. So if that bothers you or makes you feel uncomfortable for any reason, I just wanted to let you know that I'm also going to be releasing my next episode on the same day as this one. So if you do decide to skip this video, there's still some fresh content on the channel that you guys can enjoy. Anyway, so you're probably wondering how on earth I'm going to get to the DadCraft server. Well, it's actually not that hard. You see, the DadCraft server is actually Third Echelon sister server, so all we need is the DadCraft portal key. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in my hopper chain that helps me to relight my portal when it goes out, and all we have to do now is just simply activate it by hitting this button. And there you go. This should take us to the DadCraft spawn. So let's go ahead and pop through. And there you go, loading DadCraft. Yep, we made it. All right, so um, I'm still pretty early. So I'm going to head to the uh, Welcome Center and pick up some food and resources before the church service. And Kaylor's looking pretty snazzy. Last yeah, year, last, last year, year he was like a hobo. The church looking, looking like a hobo. He, he was the only <laughs> one that was underdressed. Yeah, yeah. We, got, we had to get him saved. <laughs> <laughs> now he looks like Ray Charles a little bit. Yes, he does. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's wearing the sunglasses so he can sleep to church. That's right. <laughs> you know he's the white, he's the white Ray Charles. That's right. Just like you're the white Morgan Freeman. That's what somebody told me. They said my voice sounds like the white Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I said no. I said Morgan Freeman is the black fly doc. That's right. <laughs> the only appropriate right. response. <laughs> right. Now, Lanky, you're gonna just, you, Lanky, you're just gonna change right in front of us all. <laughs> well, there is there a changing room? Yeah, there. I'm there. on the baptismal. Yeah, you can come back over here. <laughs> now, let's, all let's right, here he comes. I got a suit. Let's see. Everybody got a ooh and ah when he comes on. Here. <laughs> I, I'm not even gonna F5 it. I'm just gonna open the door and come in. You better be beautiful when you come out of there. As I long as I... you stayed in there. Uh, <laughs> Am I? Am I beautiful? Exactly oh, the same. My, I am exactly the same. Let's have church. Let's just do it. Oh, let's just have church. Yep. I'm wearing my armor. You spend all that time. You don't look any different. You're like you're like a woman, man. You go in there and put all the spend an hour in there, come out looking the same. Hey. Oh, right. <laughs> Are we ready to start recording yet? I am. I, I just started. Okay. Here we go. Are we ready, Tad? Yeah, sure thing. Welcome, everybody. This is Y Doc and the crowd all Ooh. in church. <laughs> Yay! Yay! And uh, we're Yay. having an Easter service by our very own preacher, Tad75. Right mm. there he is. All right. And he has prepared Ooh. something fine for us today. And I'm glad people from all over the world here. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, welcome to our second annual Easter service on the DadCraft server. And, uh, on the pew in front of y'all is our program. You can go ahead and grab one off, and it has a little bit of uh, uh, just kind of the order of what we're going to do today. So um, let me bring it up. Of course, we got the welcome going on already, and uh, so next comes the song service. So uh, let's see. I have a couple songs that I'm going to do, and actually we got the lyrics in the program. <laughs> so uh, so okay. uh, we're going to start off with a... a a song just saying, uh, I delight in the Lord our God, all right? Y'all don't have to sing unless uh, unless you kind of pick up the tune on the chorus. It has a couple verses, but uh, you can just follow along in the book if you want and uh, and sing. You know, everyone's welcome. It says in the Psalms to just make a joyful noise to the Lord, so, you know, we can do that here, right? Amen? Amen. 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 Take 
taking all my burdens, put my feet upon a rock. He has paid for all my sins and set me free. Giving grace to me sufficient for each trial that comes my way. Every night, every day, I will sing. stars fall from the heavens or the mountains to the sea I will put my trust in Christ and him alone for his steadfast love is able to provide my every need every night every day I will sing I delight in the Lord sing with me God I delight Good job. Nice. Awesome. Cat can really next, sing, can he? Next, can. Well, at this moment, at this time, I guess uh, in the natural order of things, uh, it's not kind of on the program, but we are taking up a collection in the back corner over there for uh, the homeless. Anyone that uh, we invite to the server that you know kind of shows up with just their their Steve skin and nothing else going on. So, uh, uh, so if or any donation that's put into the chest in the back corner um, is something that um, we're going to bless whoever comes on that's homeless. So I'll go ahead and uh, get a couple things here. And uh, there is an ATM machine right over here. So if uh, <laughs> you need to withdraw some funds, you can uh, go ahead and do that now. I'm literally just putting back the stuff I got from the, uh, <laughs> from the homeless. <laughs> Wow, there's some nice stuff in there for the homeless people. <laughs> I got a block here called the cornerstone. Let me go put that put that in there. All right. Well, at this time, I'd like to uh, ask uh, Y Doc up to the platform. So, uh, do you have a scripture that you'd like to share and read got, for us? I got a couple. I'm going to read here. Okay, good deal. No, I'm no preacher. But uh, a couple jumped out at me here that I was uh, reading being here on uh, Easter and trying to understand uh, what it's really all about. And, yeah. uh, and it, mentions, it mentions here that, uh, or I take it as man is selfish, and we need to understand that and understand what it is that Christ did for us. And this is from John 12. And it's uh, verse 23 through 25. And it says, Jesus replied, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. The man who loves his life will lose it, while the man who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. And that's kind of a powerful message when Amen. you think about it. 
And, uh, uh, you know, that's something we all got to think about sooner or later, whether we like it or not. So let me see. I had another one here. Yeah, that's uh, good. And this one's really simple. This is just 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3, uh, 3, 3 and 4. And it says, For what I have received, I passed on to you as of first, of, of an, as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the Scriptures. And that's what I got. Amen. 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 That's it. And praise God. You know, the one thing that, uh, you know, we have on this server is just a couple little, um, you know, digital books that we've kind of printed up. But, you know, one thing I want to say before I start, uh, before I, I start into my little sermonette, my mini sermon here, is that, you know, I believe that the the Bible is uh, God's inspired word that... Um, he used vessels, men on the earth, in order to uh, to write down and catalog what he was speaking to all mankind. And I look at this word that uh, you know I actually have a physical Bible sitting in front of me that as God's inspired uh, inspired word and what he said. You know I don't look at it as just you know a novel or anything like that. So um, and I, I don't mean to disgrace anyone from any other um, uh, background or history or a denomination or anything like that you know I just plan to what I shared today to be something that I see in God's Word that's a message that uh, is for all mankind for everybody so uh, in saying that uh, I just give God the glory and in, in what what's gonna come out of my mouth that you know and if if uh, welcome everyone that is here on the call but you know there's gonna be some people watching this on the internet on YouTube and all over the place that this is gonna reach out to so I just praise God that we have this vehicle of Minecraft and YouTube that uh, where we can, you know, we can shine a light into into a dark world and just you know share share our thoughts and our passions with uh, with everyone around us and with people that aren't even around you that are just on the other side of the planet. So I think it's awesome that we have folks from many 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 different time zones just kind of tuning in right now physically. Uh, but yet, there's going to be people all over the world kind of t uh, tying in at a later time. But the word I have today is uh, living passionately. And, you know, I get this term from, um, this is, of course, is, is what we call Passion Week. Uh, many Christians all over the world recognize this week as Passion Week. And what we're remembering, what people are remembering, are the days or steps leading up to the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And those are so such fitting scriptures doc that you shared uh you know outlining the the the, the way of salvation you know and uh, what christ did for us and uh, for us to to get out of our own selfish uh ways of thinking and everything uh in order to really see what what god has for us to do and what uh, what he's already done for us it's unnatural for a christian to live without passion and it's unnatural for a Christian not to be passionate about God and the things of God. And one thing that uh, I really want to just kind of speak about today is that we are all made to be passionate. I mean, you know, there's a game that I think that just about everyone here is pretty passionate about because you know what we're doing? We're playing it right now, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's something that we, we desire to, to, to um, enjoy. And it's, it's something that we get joy in our life from. And it's not a bad thing, you know. Humans are naturally set up and wired to be passionate. You know, and we're passionate about the food we eat. I'm passionate about playing the guitar. I'm passionate about music. And I'm sure that all of y'all can take note in your own life and just think about the things that you're passionate about. Of course, we're passionate about our families. You know, and those of you that have had children, and those of you that, you know, are um, thinking about future family and, and all that, you know, that is something that just grows on you. That passion is just something that is birthed inside of you as your children grow or as your your uh, husband and wife, um, you know, come together as, as one flesh. And, and, I mean, it's just something to, that we're designed to be passionate. And if we don't live in directing our passion towards the right things, it will lead to our destruction. 
You know, if if we get our passions off on on something that is is not uplifting, you know, then it it could bring us down. Um, let's look in our books for uh, the first scripture. There, I have um, on page five, Psalm thirty-seven, verse four. I'm going to turn to it here. It says. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Now, there's no coincidence that uh, the Lord put it on my heart to sing that song, I delight in the Lord thy God. You know, it's just that's something that that when we see, when we look around us in our lives and we see what we're blessed with, you know, when, we're see, when we see that we have vehicles that we can drive around in and that we, we have stores that we can go to and buy fresh produce and, and all the different things that we have available to us, it's, you know, it's something to just have joy over. And, um, and this scripture is telling us to delight ourselves in the Lord, and he shall give us the desires of our heart. You know, and one thing that that, that tells me is that as we consider what God wants us to do in our lives, did someone drop their Bible? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. You can pick it back up. But delight, you know, as we focus on what God wants us to do, that he will give us the desires of our heart. Now, you, you might say, well, well, Pastor Tad is, uh, you know, my desire is to have, you know, I, I, want a, I want a Harley Davidson. You know, I want to be able to ride up and down, down the road in this, a new vehicle or something like that. You know, just material things. A lot of people think that um, the prosperity message that is preached is just that, you know, if you if you do God's will, you're going to be you're going to be very prosperous, and you're going to have all these expensive things that uh, that you know make you look like you're prosperous. Which, you know, those things are good. As you seek the kingdom of God, the Word says that if once you if you seek the kingdom, that all these things, all your needs, all your wants will be uh, supplied to you. And this is just an echo in the Old Testament in Psalm 37, 4 of that same thing that Jesus was talking about. And uh, let's turn to uh, John 15 and verses 9 and 10. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue in my love. And verse 10 says, If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. See, in order to live passionately and to be on fire for the things of God and to be on fire for what God wants in our lives, we can't just say, well, you know, I love, I love Jesus, you know, and I, I think that uh, my, my love for him can sustain me through all of the, the hard times in life. And that actually, you know, we're... We are emotional beings, you know, we, we're up and down, aren't we? I mean, things happen in our lives and, you know, we can be up one day and rejoicing and, the, and then tragedy hits or an opportunity for, uh, for destruction in our life happens, an accident or something, and all of our joy is gone. And yeah, even though we love the Lord and we, we desire to, uh, to do His will in our life, we just don't see you know, that joy. We don't see that peace. And any time that, that you feel like your passion for God and, and the things of God drop down, I will say that it's more than likely the issue that you forgot that it's how much He loves us and how passionate He is for us. So that's one thing that uh, we need to be sustained on his love for us. It says, as the Father loved me, so I have loved you. See, even Jesus knew he only did what the Father did. He only saw and, and moved and went where the Father asked him to go. And, you know, we need to look to Christ and look to Father God for that same direction. And we can only do that. We can only really truly love if we know how, if we've felt love from the Father. And in John 13, verses 34 to 35, it says, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. 
By this shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have love one for another. And that's this is what I'll I'll close on that, uh, you know, we desire to to um, to fix ourselves. We desire to um, to get out of the mess that we're in sometimes, and we we're focused so much on looking at, uh, at how we can help ourselves when really the true gospel is to love other people and to be passionate about loving other people and giving other people, uh, you know, blessing them, helping people when they're in times of need and reaching a hand out whenever someone, someone is in need and being sensitive to hearing and knowing when someone is truly in need or if they're just, you know, if they're just working the system and trying to ask for a handout, you know, we have to be sensitive to, to know what God wants us to do and to, to be able to be a true blessing to others. But that's the main commandment that God has called us all to do is to love one another. You know, we can't, it, it talks about it in the, in the, the Pauline epistles. Um, oh gosh, I, I'm thinking of the scripture. It just came to mind uh, that if you, you know, you say you love God, but if you're hating your brother, uh, you know, that there's no love inside of you. Yeah. Yep. In closing, you know, I just want to, you know, say this out to, you know, everyone that's here on the call or everyone that is out, uh, you know, in YouTube land watching this, that, you know, if you feel like, you know, I'm just not passionate about anything, well, give Christ a chance to, to reveal his passion to you. You don't know how hard Evander Holyfield hits until you get in the ring with him. You know, y'all know who Evander Holyfield is? Mm -hmm. yep. He's a big old guy. He has a really strong arm, and he just can knock probably every one of us out in the room. <laughs> He's an old <laughs> man just, now. In with the flick of his finger. I, I, I think he could probably still do it. You know, I don't know. But, you know, it. you don't know how hard he hits until you're you're there. You know, you can't experience, you know, you can't experience what love truly is until you accept <clears throat> Jesus. And you allow him to, to love you, and you can experience his love. So, you know, if, uh, if you're here today or if you're listening by or watching by YouTube, you know, it's an easy thing to do to allow Jesus into your heart. You know, you can just pray a prayer at home. You can do it while, uh, while we're on this, uh, this virtual church service. And uh, I'm just going to say a prayer here at the end. Or they and can anyone, contact any of us. Yeah, you can contact any of us. You can... Uh, um, Leave a comment and any one, any of our videos that we have, and uh, we'll pray with you. We can um, we can meet you where you are, and you know sometimes we can maybe help you fulfill um, needs that you have. So I'm going to close in a word of prayer, and uh, and we'll just kind of go with the fellowship after that. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Lord. Thank you for for everyone that's watching. Lord, I pray that um, if anyone here or anyone watching by YouTube just desires to to make Jesus the Lord of their lives, uh, that they pray this prayer with me. That, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Lord, I'm a sinner, but thank you that you so loved me, that you gave yourself and you died on a cross for me, God, and that you rose again and that you were set up at the right hand of Father God. And we give you all the glory in that, Lord. And I, I give you the praise. I call you Lord of my life. And thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 And that's just the simplest prayer in the world, but, you know, it can change lives. So, well, um, if anyone has food, eat up. Uh, we could, uh, if anyone wants to get baptized, uh, we can come up here and I can, uh, I, can, I can get your IGNs and your skins baptized. Well, I was baptized last year, so. Yeah, you don't have to get baptized again. Okay. Oh, we have something. Someone, someone making some armor up here? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lanky. Lanky. <laughs> I made some fine china for the homeless. <laughs> you probably need to be baptized okay, after a deal. stunt like fine that. China. <laughs> <laughs> There's some fine china there for the homeless. All right. Yeah, I'll pick it up. Oh, I'll take it and uh, bring it to the... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's nice. Fine fine chine. Yes. <laughs> All right, so nobody wants to get baptized. I'll take a fresh anointing. All right. Let's go up here so we can watch what's happening. All right.
Well, yeah, we actually have a, a way of getting around back this way. Okay. Actual steps. We don't have to jump on the flowers. Yeah, don't squish the flowers. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to stand on that little trap door right there. Okay. S center yourself on the trap door, and uh, this will be for, uh, uh, you know, baptism. What it means in the Greek is baptismo, which is uh, submersion in the Greek. And, uh, you know, whenever we're... we're uh, whenever we get baptized, it's just an outward statement of faith to everyone around us that, hey, I'm fully committed here. Whenever I jump off the cliffs in in uh, in, uh, in Austin, in Lake Travis, they have some pretty high cliffs going into the lake there. And whenever you get to the edge, you know, you have to be committed in order to make it all the way to the water, you know, and you have to just run and jump. And then you get, you know, you don't test the water. You actually just have to jump in and get submerged. So that's that's uh, what I like to tell folks, you know, what baptism really is, is a complete submersion in God's will. It's a representation. Cyprus right now is going to go through a representation of what Jesus did, that he was he died and was buried under the ground. And that's what it's like when we go under the water. And then when we come up out of the water renewed, that that's the, the resurrection power uh, that raised actually Jesus from the dead. So uh, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, I baptize Cyprus. Here we go, right? There we go. Woo! All right. All right. It's a little cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amen. Any any other takers? I'll get baptized again. Sure. All right. Take off my jacket real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you have another suit on. <laughs> All right. Here we. Go. There you go. Boop, boop, boop. Woo! Good. All right. All right. Anybody else? Oh, we got an example. All right. I'm going in. Hang on. All right. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And can I get the button? There Here we go. Oh. All, right. All right. Way to go. I guess I might as well head on up there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Lanky white guy. Baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son. I feel like I need to have a sword and like knight you at the same time. <laughs> can I do that? <laughs> That's well, what actually, I, might, for. I might, I might kill you. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, there you go, Frankie man. He has the, he has the, the diamond sword. Oh, oh there it went. <laughs> oh, the sword got baptized. <laughs> oh, here. No, actually, I got one. It's sharp looter, but here we go. Well, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Punk. <laughs> and I got a sword. Oh. <laughs> I came up with a sword. All right. All right. All right. It works, see? <laughs> Have faith and you shall right. receive. He went down yeah, wooden and he came up diamond. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> anyone wanna, anyone else want to change Man's wood sword diamond? There. Whose diamond sword was it? Frankie. I think it's Frankie Man. There you go. All right, Kaya's going. Chad, you got another oh, one. Let me, let me come over here. You're the preacher. All right. We even let we even let foxes in here, wild mm -hmm. animals too. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we baptize I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be blessed. All right. Oh, she has a glow about her as she comes out. <laughs> yes, she does. Right now here comes Frankie, man. All right, all right, Frankie. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hey, don't, say that down don't, there drown. There. don't drown there, Frankie. He's not coming back up. Uh -oh. <laughs> Frankie. Frankie. Oh, all right. Okay. Well, you know, they. I, I heard. I heard a preacher say one time that you know, if uh, if all about getting saved was just going to just going to heaven, and we didn't have a work here on the earth to do, you know, uh, helping people, saving people, and just uh, being a blessing to others, and living passionately with God's love to others, that if if we didn't have a work to do, that we would have. Uh, not come up whenever we got baptized that he would have just taken us you know we would have drowned as soon as we went down so the fact that uh, if any of you've been baptized and you you came up out of the water then hey you have work to do you have a sphere of influence where you you can be a light to all the people around you so all right okay. we'll see you at the next uh, church service next year next year right on <laughs> On a Sunday morning, I will praise the Lord. On a Sunday evening, praise the 
floor When I wake up in the morning Praise this name, everybody praise Hallelujah, one more time Praise the Lord On a Sunday morning